Okay, hey, let's go ahead and get started with a love reading for the collective. All right, first card out, we got tested. Your strength and weaknesses are being tested. We've got spiritual. Your spiritual journey is beginning. Okay, you're getting tested on your... Making sure that you're staying on your spiritual journey. Making sure that you're holding true to your word when it comes to relationships. And then we've got trust here. We got you need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. Bottom of the deck, we've got connection. All right. So this is a connection for whoever it is that I'm tapped into. It's your, your connection is eternal and unbreakable. That's what it's talking about. So whether this is somebody that you already know, or this is somebody that you are like meeting, you are going to be tested to say like, okay, like when we in the past got into a relationship, we jumped right into bed with them. We didn't take any time. We just wanted to make sure this motherfucker wasn't going to get away. So what did we do? We jumped into bed with them to try and keep them, to show them that we had that power and so on and so forth. The rest is history. Okay. Now, all of a sudden you're on this spiritual journey. You realize you have to start doing things differently than the way you used to do them. Okay. With that said, with this new connection or with the connection that you're already in, everybody's going to be on a different timeline. You're being tested on whether or not you're going to continue doing what you've done in past relationships in order to, you know, trap somebody or keep them there because of your own, you know, abandonment wounds or whatever it is, right? You will be uh, tested on that. And you're going to have to also, in the meantime, I do feel like you are being tested to trust, trust in spirit, okay? That if you have not met this person just yet, trust me, they're working through their tests and lessons as you're working through your tests and lessons. So if you have not met this person yet, <clears throat> I do see them. They are flying in. They're just having to pass a few more tests when it comes to life, having to heal a few more things. Same thing with you. <clears throat> but just trust and believe that you are coming into union. You see these two hand in hand with wedding rings, right? So for a lot of you, that is where you are headed if that is something that you want. If you didn't want it, you wouldn't fucking be here right now, okay? So we've got that connection here. Spirit, please show me what is the test? What is this test that Spirit speaks of? Oh, separation. So yeah, you know, maybe there is this boundary between you and your partner, okay? Or maybe Spirit's gonna, maybe you guys live in different places, okay? One lives here, somebody else lives over there. So it's not like you guys can come into you know alignment and see each other every single day and maybe that's the test okay maybe then that's what it's talking about the test is separation being apart from one another and really seeing how each other do things when they're not with one another are they motivated are they getting shit done are they you know staying on task are they you know working on their legacy and their business okay right underneath spiritual we've got very soon it says clearly decide what you want so that it can come to you now so you know, I feel like, you know, one, for some of you, the test is maybe you have been like in separation for a really long time. Maybe you haven't been in a relationship. And so maybe you've, you know, been tested and, you know, for some of you, you're like, I don't even want a relationship, but you're going to get tested. And I feel like spirits also saying like, you need to make a clear decision about are you willing to go on this journey with another person? Okay, maybe for some of you, you've gotten used to being single and you just don't give a shit anymore. And Spirit's like, okay, well, we're going to see how far that flies. Next card out, yeah, we've got past life relationships. Do you have known each other before? That sits right underneath the trust. So for some of you, maybe you have a trust issue when it comes to this relationship. And maybe because th that person could have very well passed away in a past life and your muscle memory is remembering the pain and the sorrow that you felt when the two of you guys were in separation and how much you longed for this individual. And so you're afraid now. And so your muscle memory, maybe that's why you kind of keep each other at an arm's distance is because of that. Everybody's going to have a different, you know, situation, but that was the one that really stood out. And then we've got bottom of the deck. We've got deception. It says, you know, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship and right underneath the connection, your connection is eternal and unbreakable. You know, make sure that, you know, I think in the past, you know, you've been in relationships where there was 
a lot of deception in relationships, okay? It was there was a lot of deception when it came to your connections. And you were tested on whether or not you were going to let that shit go. If you were going to be willing to walk away from people, places, and things that are full of shit, okay? Wasting your fucking time. And I feel like, you know, that's the past energy though, because now spirit's saying, okay, well, those were the tests that you needed to experience in order for you to be able to come into union with your new divine counterpart. And in doing so, like, if you're willing to go on this spiritual journey and you, you know, you, you're the one that's going to make that decision. You can either hold yourself back, make yourself late, keep yourself in separation, or you can still push forward through all of this, recognizing that everybody is here to teach us a valuable lesson. And people go, oh, I should have never dated that person. Yeah, you fucking should have because it taught you what you don't like. And, and it, you know, I'm not going to say, oh, it made you stronger. Fuck no, it taught, well, it did. <laughs> you know, now you're a champion for your cause. But at the end of the day, it wasn't put here to give you trust issues. It wasn't put here to make you a victim of circumstances. It was put here in order to allow you to learn a very valuable lesson when it comes to these relationships. So what are those? What is uh, the separation and being tested spirit? So I do feel like there is a past life relationship. I feel like mm, that you, you will be coming into union with here in the future. And I feel with that said, I feel like you're going to know that you can trust this person. I feel like this is going to be unlike any other relationship you have ever been in before. And I definitely get that. But it's based off of the decisions that you make. And it says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in, okay? So you have, you know... I don't ever allow somebody else to take that away from you. And maybe that's why you're in separation is because you needed to be in this place. You needed, this was part of your soul's journey. You know, for some of you, you find yourself single longer than m m many other people. Maybe you go through a lot more tests and relationships than other people do. But it's because, well, look at your seventh house in your, you know, astrology. Some of us are just sent here with bigger lessons when it comes to relationships. But that's not to, again, to victimize ourselves off of this. This is telling you, like, again, when you're in that separation, when you're in that time apart from if you know somebody and you guys are separated, or it's just allowing yourself to feel, feel joyful, but not based off of somebody else's, um, like, no one else can make you fucking happy. Happiness comes from within. I know how cliche that sounds, but it is the fucking truth. If you're looking for something outside of yourself to fucking save you, you're going to end up with another test and another lesson. You're looking for somebody to support you. Good fucking luck. If you're looking for somebody because you are, it's not even that you're looking. Like for me, I don't actively look. I can meet somebody and not be like, oh, is that my one? Is that my person? I can meet people of the opposite sex and you know, yeah, I may be attracted, but I'm not in my head going, oh, is this the person? No, it'll come to me regardless of when it's supposed to come. But I know at the end of the day, I deserve to be able to feel happiness, but my happiness comes from within. It's not regardless of anybody else or anybody else's shit. Okay. So that is something that, you know, some of you guys in the collective need to learn, you know, people who come into our lives, our partnerships and stuff, it's to help lift us up. It's not here to save us, you know? Spirit, please show me what is this spiritual and very soon. What is this spiritual and very soon? Okay, what do we got? We got forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. Just like I said, you know, you may keep yourself in separation because you're so fucking worried that, you know, nobody's ever going to love you or nobody's ever going to, you know, and you don't want to be hurt again, but that's what it's saying. Like forgive yourself for going through these experiences, but also forgive the other person and, and thank them for being the one who put you through it. You could have ended up dead. Just saying. So, you know, it can always be worse. You know this. Watch Dateline, 48 hours. Don't get any life, or child, or, um, life insurance policies. <laughs> Just kind of kidding. Um, okay, stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So that's what Spirit is saying. Like, make that decision to go off on this spiritual journey, you know? And in, in doing so, you will come into a relationship that is 
somebody who is going to last the test of time and can not for all of you some of you still have a few more lessons to learn and then we have underneath the trust past life relationship it says give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires know this and it can be true and it's funny how you know he's kissing her cheek and if you look at the back of this card she's over here kissing the tree and both of them being in a very vulnerable space she's looking for something that's going to be grounded not something that's like by the seat of your pants you know deceptive bullshit like you've been through before where the person you know pulls the wool over your eyes bottom of the deck we have right underneath the connection your connection is eternal and unbreakable deception someone is wearing a false self mask in the relationship bottom of the deck here it says it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. So what do we got here? We've got two of those cards where she is isolated, okay? Here she is, isolated. Uh, be mindful that you're not yearning and pining after, you know, somebody to be there. Like that's the illusion. It's just trying to keep make you late from actually going out and experiencing something so fucking truly amazing. Um, but again, you're going to have to get over this in order to get to this and how, what the bridge that it's going to take is a, a decision to forgive, forgive the past, forgive yourself, you know, forgive the lies that you were told, forgive the person who cheated on you, forgive the person who, uh, abandoned you, you know, forgive the person who abused you, forgive them. And I know that's easier said than done. And anybody would be like, peace, what the fuck? You know that, you know, you know, that's hard, but it can be done. Get to a point where when you hear their name, you don't cringe and every sphincter in your body is like, eh, and you think negative thoughts of them, you nothing them. That's the point that you need to get to is get to a place. And that's not numbness. It just means that that was a part of my past. That was a part of the a book one, you know, a, a chapter in my story. I'm here to rewrite the next chapter and the chapter thereafter and the one thereafter. And especially when it comes to our li love lives, you know, it says, give thanks for the blessings of love. You're going to be thanking God, thanking God for all of the failed relationships in the past. And you're going to think, you know, you're going to thank yourself for trusting in the universe for actually bringing you to this person. I'm going to, I'm going to take one more wisdom of the Oracle, please. Any, any messages that the, okay. Spirit. Yeah. Stay out of co chaos and conflict. I'm going to read that one out of the book. Number 33. Number 33. Okay. When it comes to love, when two people are tr in, oh, wait, 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 no. Oh, I tended 23. I'm sorry, 33. All right, so relationship message says, stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition. The incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict that deep down you want to be resolved. This is an opportune moment to learn about your values, your sense of self, what's really important to you. Some things are non-negotiable, and if that's true, it's not necessary to fight. Can you find a way through the stormy emotions to higher ground? Soon the air will clear and you will be in a much better place than before for the storm will have passed, blazing a path for new growth in its wake. Things can become electric and enlightened, always better than before if you use this time constructively. So, you, you know, that's why it's talking about you pulling back you know, taking a step back from relationships, taking a step back so that you can honor yourself so that when you come into a new relationship, you can be the full authentic human being that you were always sent here to be. And you're not manifesting somebody based off of an illusion or what you think this person wants you to be. You're focusing this relationship based off of who you are at a core level, because otherwise when you come into union pretending something that you're not and trying to make something fit and it doesn't the same 
things that are you're trying to hide are going to be the same things that break you up in the fucking end. So regardless, so it will be inevitable, you know, or it'll be the thing that is constantly uh, coming at you. So I don't want to leave it on that note. Um, let's go ahead and pull one more card when it comes to our relationship spirit. What do we got? Community. All right. So for those of you who are looking for relationships, I feel like this person very well. Oh, we've got that yang energy. There's that masculine energy, guys. So, you know, you need somebody who's like hands on somebody. I got handy dandy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I got handy dandy, but I did a handyman. OK, somebody who can actually fix things. And I see somebody here who like works with their hands. They're very magical with their hands. They can be very creative. OK. Um, but I feel like this person, you know, for some of you, you could very well find this person in your community. Uh, they could be, and I'm getting with the chaos and conflict and community. I'm only almost getting like a person, a firefighter, a police officer, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be that it could be a mechanic, you know, somebody who works with their hands, even a massage therapist, you know, uh, people are, their body can be in chaos and this person helps. They could be a doctor. Uh, you know, so whatever this is, you're manifesting on a very much higher level um, when it comes to the frequency that you are coming into. So I do feel like the individual that you will end up with, if there is any type of, you know, conflict or any of that, I feel like this person will be very protective of you. Somebody who is very like also could be very respected when it comes to their community. This could be you. This could be them. This could be the both of you. Um, and maybe you help, you know, are some type of a conflict manager or something like that uh, as well. Uh, it's going to be different for each one of you, but this is about making decisions, not deceiving yourself, not allowing yourself to be deceived and, you know, pretending that you don't see something, um, you know, and be mindful of, you know, people who have still third parties in the mix. Make sure that this person, you know, they need to go through that separation. And I do also see here where somebody ends up walking away from a relationship and going towards uh, a someone else, a new union. And it could be also somebody that they work with, okay? That's gonna be for a, a small few of you. They're hoping that you'll forgive them one day, but they've been lying to themselves when they say that they are still in love with you. I feel like this person has been wanting a separation for a really long time. Anyway, that's what I have for you guys. I'm gonna leave that here if you are. If this may resonates, please let me know in the comment box. You guys, I love you all so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Check me out over on Instagram and Facebook, and I will chat with you again soon. Take care.